Hello for action figure fans and collectors, Jimmy the Toy Collector is back again doing another video review today looking at the fantastic figures from Jack's Pacific and that is the Pirates of the Caribbean and Stranger Tides figures. Today we're looking at the single carded Blackbeard. Blackbeard, from what I can tell from the trailers, is the main antagonist of the new movie, which is due to hit theaters here in Australia on the 19th and in America on the 20th, I believe. So very cool. I'm a massive, massive fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean series and pirates in general. Two things I really love is, first of all, robots. Second, pirates. So there's a no-brainer that I'd immediately love the Pirates of the Caribbean series. I, They're my favorite film series besides... I do enjoy the Transformers movies, but yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean is awesome. The two things I really love, and I just love those movies. I'm very happy with the cast and all that and of the, throughout the whole movie series. In Mc A R In McShane, I believe his name was, is Blackbeard. He's awesome. From the trailers, he looks just spectacular. But yes, the figure. Wow. Um, this is Jack Specific's first time at doing the Pirates of the Caribbean figures series. Um, the NECA used to do them for the last three movies. And um, Zizzle. Zizzle did the four inch figures from number two and three, Dead Man's Chest and At World's End. They didn't do the um, Pirates 1 figures, but it's all good. Um, but yeah, the. I'll just get a Jack Sparrow from the Zizzle figures. There we go. Ah, so here's a Jack Sparrow from the Zizzle figures. As you can see, they're a lot smaller and the Zizzle are just a lot more detailed. Um, I'd prefer it if Zizzle did do the Pirates 4 figures, but I don't really mind because Jack Specific did a really good take on them. Um, of course, their sculpt isn't as accurate, but. It's all good. It's all good. Let's get a closer look at Blackbeard. Now, so there is his head. He's got his cutlass, which is um, meant to be like special, has special powers, or whatever. Um, Neptune's sword or something, I can't remember, but it's an important sword. Um, very nice detailing on him. On his jacket. Uh, is it focusing? Yeah, very nice detailing on his jacket. His pistol is very nice. It just slits right into his belt. I'll show that off in a second. And he's got some flame details there. Uh, and his boots. On the back he's just... Um, there's a scabbard. Looks very awesome. It's got like a chunk of it missing. It looks pretty awesome. Um, very nice detail on the scabbard though. Um, the back's pretty much plain but very nice. He's got his pocket there. Um, pretty good detail. Pretty awesome. All around, He's, I, love, I love the detailing on his jacket. Um, his jacket and that piece are one piece, unfortunately, and is very soft rubber. Um, very soft rubber has been applied throughout the entire figure. Um, the majority of it is this soft plastic. Um, his sword is also pretty flimsy, but it's, the sword is more sturdier than other swords, which is a good thing. Um, his pistol is removable, and it just slits right into that little hole right there. It's pretty cool. Um, the pistol is teeny tiny, um, but it's just a plain brown, so nothing too special. A gold on the buckles and the belts, very nice. Um, but overall, his main color is black. Um, very good detailing on the cutlass. Like it. Look at like it. His hat is removable. So this is hat. Very nice detailing. Um, the, the soft rubber. Oh, but yes, I enjoy it. Um, now, Blackbeard also comes with this bottle, which activates a light-up gimmick, which unfortunately doesn't work on mine. Um, I should have tested that before I bought him, but I, just, I got the Jack Sparrow as well, so I'll just use his. Um, it basically just makes their face, their faces um, go... You can't see it, but it makes their faces go white. Um, I'll show you his card back. Uh, so this is Blackbeard's card back. Basically it does that. It hasn't got any of the gimmicks that you see on the clothing, it's just the face. This is the prototype images. But just yes, very nice. There's the figures from The Wave. As you can see we got Angelica, Blackbeard, Jack Sparrow, 
Barbosa and Gibbs. A very nice lineup for the first wave. It's pretty awesome. In the second wave, we get uh, the same issue, Barbosa. Two of Blackbeard's men. Uh, another issue of Blackbeard, which is slightly different. And uh, Jack Sparrow with the jacket on. So, yes. And, you know, that's the front of the card. It just has, like, a blister thing at the front. One of these. Oh, that's Blackbeard's. I've got my Jack Sparrow there as well. Um, speaking of whom, Jack Sparrow. There's Jack Sparrow next to him. They, they're they really awesome figures. I'll do Jack's review in a minute. But yes, highly recommend Blackbeard. I'm getting the Queen Anne's Revenge playset, so... And all the other figures, I'm getting all the other figures. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I love Pirates of the Caribbean, getting everything. I might even get the 6-inch figures that are coming out. Well, they have already come out, but yes, very nice. Definitely recommend you pick them up, especially Blackbeard. Jack Sparrow as well, you need a Jack Sparrow. But yes, they're very awesome figures, Blackbeard especially, pick them up. And Jack's review is coming right now.